Everyone knows that what you eat or don't eat can have a serious impact on your body. But it's just as important to keep your brain in working condition, too. Here are seven foods to eat and seven to avoid for your brain health. There are many reasons to switch from processed white grains to whole grains. And it isn't just because a diet rich in whole grains may help prevent type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and certain cancers of the digestive system. Whole grains may also be good for your brain. A University of Minnesota review found that grains in general provide energy-hungry brains with an important source of glucose. Contrary to what you might have heard from the Atkins people, carbohydrates actually do have health benefits. They're good for your brain because they contain antioxidants and other compounds that help keep inflammation in check. That's important, since inflammation can cause damage to your brain over time, and that can lead to age-related brain disorders and neurological diseases. Whole grains in particular are especially good for you because they don't give your brain a big sugar rush like refined grains do, and they contain much more fiber and brain-healthy nutrients than their refined counterparts. For every one thing you should be eating, there are usually plenty of equal and opposite things you shouldn't be eating. You may not be super surprised to hear that processed meat is one of them. If you're concerned about your brain, it's officially time to give up your lunch meat and sausage habit. Oh no! Oh yes, cured meats contain N nitroso compounds, which are associated with a higher risk of developing brain tumors. To be fair, you might be able to eat some cured meats if you make sure to also eat fruits, vegetables, and foods rich in vitamin A, which could have a balancing effect on your brain. But that doesn't change the fact that eating a lot of processed meat is also potentially associated with an increased risk of dementia. Like everything in life, you need to take that meat in moderation. In the lab, raw leafy greens have been shown to reduce neurodegeneration in aging rats. A 2005 study in experimental neurology found that rats that ate spinach had fewer obstructions of blood supply in their brains. And cruciferous vegetables such as broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, and cabbage are brain-healthy too. A diet high in these vegetables may help reduce oxidative stress, which is what happens when the balance between free radicals and antioxidants gets out of whack. Oxidative stress can destroy the nutrients and other chemicals your brain needs for healthy functioning, and it can even cause physical damage to nerve cells. Over time, this kind of havoc can lead to Alzheimer's disease. Additionally, a 2018 study published in Molecules found that the isothiocyanates in cruciferous vegetables can help prevent the growth of cancer cells in the brain and elsewhere, so Alzheimer's prevention isn't the only reason you should eat your greens. As the years go by and science becomes clearer, some foods will inevitably fall in and out of favor with dietitians. But one food that's remained pretty steadily in the unhealthy column is sugar, much to the dismay of sweet-loving American palates. A 2018 study in the Metabolic Brain Disease Forum found that after only a few months on a high-sucrose diet, mice developed an early-stage brain disease similar to Alzheimer's. Researchers described spatial memory deficits and increased despair in their subjects. Likewise, research published in Current Opinion in Clinical Nutrition and Metabolic Care noted the connection between type 2 diabetes and Alzheimer's disease. Insulin resistance is associated with high-sugar diets, which is one of the features of both Alzheimer's disease and type 2 diabetes, so reducing the amount of sugar in your diet isn't just something you should be doing for your brain, but for the rest of your body, too. Some adults never grow out of hating vegetables, and if that's you, never fear. You can also eat berries to help ward off diseases of the aging brain. Blueberries in particular have been noted for their ability to fight oxidative stress and inflammation. The authors of a 2012 study even suggested that a diet high in blueberries may be able to reverse neuronal aging, just in case you want to put off eating healthier until the very last minute. Probably not a great idea, though. Blueberries contain polyphenolic compounds that function as antioxidants, which means they can help combat those free radicals that are messing things up in your brain. The same 2005 research that studied the brain health of rats who ate spinach also found that blueberries had similar benefits, including fewer obstructions of blood supply in their brains. If you're not into blueberries, don't worry, because there are other brain-smart berry options out there. Strawberries may also help slow cognitive decline, and raspberries have similar properties. It's all good. Most of us understand that there's a negative relationship between chronic alcohol abuse and our health. People who abuse alcohol may develop a whole host of both short-term and long-term health problems. But there is also a growing body of research that links overconsumption of alcohol to brain damage. One study in molecular neurobiology even linked ethanol to an increase in neuritic plaques in the brains of laboratory mice. It's worth noting that some studies have also found that moderate use of some alcohol like red wine may have a protective effect, though the ingredient most associated with this effect is resveratrol, which is also found in unfermented grapes. So you don't need to drink red wine to get the protective effect, though it's arguably more exciting than just eating grapes. Chin chin. That was a dietary villain for many years, but people are finally starting to realize that it's really more of an anti-hero. Not all fat clogs arteries and causes weight gain. Some fats, like those found in certain kinds of seafood, are actually good for your heart and, as it turns out, your brain. 
Fatty acids are the building blocks of fats, and omega-3 fatty acids are some of the most healthy of all. They're important for building cell membranes, and your body and brain also use them for energy. The omega-3 DHA, for example, is especially important for brain and eye health. One study published in the American Journal of Preventative Medicine even suggests that eating omega-3-rich fish weekly might reduce age-related brain gray matter loss. Not everyone loves fish, of course, but the good news is you can also get omega-3s from plant-based sources such as olive oil. A study published in JAMA Internal Medicine found that people who regularly consumed olive oil appeared to suffer slower cognitive decline than those who didn't. While it's generally agreed that fish that contain a lot of omega-3 fatty acids are good for you, this comes along with a catch, namely the fact that there are some kinds of fish you should avoid for the sake of your brain. For years, pregnant women have been told to avoid top-of-the-food chain fish like tuna, swordfish, and king mackerel due to the potential effects of mercury on an unborn child. But more recent research also shows that people who aren't pregnant may be risking their health if they eat a lot of high-mercury fish. These particular seafood choices are associated with a decrease in cognitive function. They still contain the omega-3 fatty acids that are associated with brain health, but that benefit is largely canceled out by the presence of high levels of mercury. After years of not really being taken seriously, coffee is finally getting some good press. Recent research has confirmed that coffee consumption isn't just a way for you to feel alert at ungodly hours or to stop snapping at your coworkers for no good reason. Damn good coffee! And hot! Coffee is full of antioxidants. As such, it can also ward off Alzheimer's disease and may also decrease the risk of developing depression, stroke, and Parkinson's disease. It is also associated with a reduced risk of type 2 diabetes. More specifically, though, drinking 3 to 5 cups of coffee per day during the middle part of your life is associated with an up to 65% decrease in your risk of developing dementia or Alzheimer's disease. Lots of people love their white carbohydrates. Unfortunately, refined carbs are increasingly associated with a number of health problems, from diabetes to dementia. The real problem with these sorts of processed foods is that they tend to have a higher glycemic index than unprocessed foods, which means they can cause a rapid rise in blood sugar. More importantly, refined carbohydrates have a high glycemic load, which is a measure of how much glucose there is in a food versus how quickly it gets into your bloodstream. A 2020 study published by the Alzheimer's Association found that eating a lot of refined carbohydrates was associated with an increased risk of dementia in elderly people. Luckily, there are plenty of alternatives to refined pasta and white rice. Whole grain bread, brown rice, and whole grain pasta are all healthy alternatives to the refined carbohydrates you eat every day. Dairy is another one of those foods that has suffered from years of bad press, especially full-fat dairy, which contains a lot of saturated fat. But a 2018 study found that full-fat dairy actually has a lot of health benefits. Plus, it doesn't seem to contribute to an increased risk of cardiovascular disease. So, that's good news, but what about brain health? Well, according to a 2014 research published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, older adults who consume a lot of milk and cheese had higher cerebral concentrations of glutathione, an important antioxidant. Patients suffering from neurodegeneration have a notable absence of glutathione in their brain tissue, too, so dairy could just help in that regard. If you're still a bit iffy on drinking full-fat milk, that's okay. There's plenty of evidence that low-fat dairy has cognitive benefits, too. Everyone loves a nice burger, and even if your burger of choice is made of black beans or plant-based meat, you probably enjoy it with a side of french fries. Thankfully, trans fats have been banned in the United States. But deep-fried foods are still associated with all kinds of health risks, especially cardiovascular disease, and they can have a negative effect on your brain's health, too. Some research has demonstrated that fried foods can contain unhealthy compounds, such as acrolein, which forms in hot cooking oil and is often found in deep-fried fast foods. Acrolein has an association with Alzheimer's disease, as well as a bunch of other diseases you really don't want to develop, including heart disease, diabetes, and stroke. Not everything that has to do with the health of your brain is about preventing Alzheimer's and other forms of dementia. Certainly, if you're lucky enough to live into your 70s, 80s, and beyond, you'll want to be able to draw on a good amount of cognitive power. Well, good news! A 2011 study published in the Cambridge University Press found that a diet that includes walnuts may improve the inferential verbal reasoning skills of even healthy young adults. Other studies have found an association between walnuts and improved working memory in elderly patients. So adding these nuts to your diet now and in the future might be a good idea. If you're not super keen on walnuts, then you're not totally out of luck. A study in the Indian Journal of Pharmacology found that almonds might also have the ability to reverse cognitive impairment, and other less well-studied nuts are likely to have similar benefits. Tofu has long been touted as a great meat substitute, despite it not really tasting anything like any kind of meat. Still, it shows up in a lot of vegan recipes, mostly because it contains a lot of protein, which can be hard to incorporate into a vegan diet. Unfortunately for tofu lovers, though, a few studies have linked overconsumption of the soy-based product with cognitive decline late in life. According to one study published in Karger, elderly Indonesian subjects who ate a lot of tofu scored poorly on a memory test. 
Interestingly, the same effect was not noted with subjects who ate a lot of tempeh, another soy-based food. Researchers hypothesized that tempeh, which is fermented, contains plenty of folates, which may help balance the potentially harmful effects of phytoestrogens. Want to keep that brain healthy? Temper that tofu with tempeh. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Health Digest videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.